this is the FET circuit simulator. Now, you should play with this. However, it's Java. So, that's not so, it's not always easy to do. Okay, so, but I want to set up an RC circuit. So, here I have a capacitor, it's 1.1 farads. I'm going to get a battery. This one's so great. They have a, a circuit simulator like this that's HTML5 but doesn't have capacitors in there. Uh, I'm going to hook up a switch. I'm going to hook up a resistor. And I'm going to connect everything together. I'm going to make it look nice. See if I can. Okay, just leave it like that. Why do I make things pretty? Who knows? Okay, that's pretty good. So let's just look and see what happens as I close this switch. So these dots represent electrons. So as I close that switch and I play it, actually let me open the switch. Let's click play and close the switch. So you'll see here that the electrons start flowing. They start moving. They go through the resistor. These electrons then build up on this parallel plate capacitor. So you get a negative charge on the capacitor. That pushes electrons off of the other side plate, and so you get a current flowing still. Until you have, this builds up an electric field going this way. No, yeah, this way, which opposes the current. Let's go ahead and measure the voltage. Let's see, voltmeter. So I'm going to measure, let's see what this voltage is. 9, 9 volt battery. 9 volt battery, okay. So at this time, if I go around the circuit and I add up voltages, so I'm going to keep these in the same order. So across the resistor, I have 0 volts. Across the capacitor, I have negative 9 volts. So if I add up the voltages across this whole circuit, I get zero, which is true. It should always be true. Uh, so I get plus nine, minus nine is zero. So the voltage across this capacitor is the opposite of the battery, and so you have no current flow. Okay. Now let's put this right here, um, and then discharge the capacitor. Let's see. Let's see if I just open the switch. Oops. And then let's just reset all. I could I could do it a different way. Reset dynamics. There, okay, that's good. So now watch this voltage as I turn this on. It's not going to be zero. You see that? Because as current's flowing, then I do have a V equals IR across that resistor until this builds up. So what we have here is a situation where the voltage on this depends on the amount of charge on that, but the rate that the charge is entering depends on the current. So we have this complicated situation. The, the more charge you get up there, the less charge gets on there. So it's not a linear system. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, let's get rid of the voltmeter. And let's reset everything again. Oops. I, I, you can't discharge this thing. I just don't want to do it. Okay, so now let's do the following. Let's make a graph, a voltage chart. I'm going to put it down here. And let's see, so this is plus, let's see, I think that should be plus, and that should be minus. Okay. And then let's see, reset dynamics. Is that eight? Oh, that's fine. Can okay, I watch what happens when I close the switch? What does this thing do? No, that's not what I want. Can I make this bigger? I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, that's fine. I can close the switch. And you'll notice that the voltage across the capacitor is increasing, but the rate that it increases is not constant. Okay, so that's what we want to play with. Um, what's this do? Well, that's cool. Lifelike. Uh, you can get a stopwatch. We can time this stuff. We can do all this stuff. Uh, large. No, I didn't want that. Medium. Okay, so that's that's your introduction to this RC circuit thing. Um, we could also discharge the capacitor, and I will do that in the video, but I wanted to show you this so that you can play with it. In case you can't play with this simulator, 
I wanted to show you what it looks like. If you can get Java to work, I highly recommend that you play with it. It's really awesome and it's got a great stuff you can play around with. Okay, I'll see you guys later.